Well, hello to your faces and welcome to a new dawn and uh, uh, definitely a not a new day. Yeah, by that you'll be able to tell that it is currently uh, night time, of which it is nearly one o'clock in the morning. So we need to get this bag packed because we need to be leaving this house at maybe, I think, 7am. We're going to be hitting absolute rush hour traffic because, ladies and gentlemen, we are going on an adventure to America for a secret operation. Disclaimer, I am not having an operation in the slightest, but we're going on an adventure. It's going to be amazing. I'm not going to say anything until it's happening. So, secret, 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 secrets. We need to get our bags packed. So, before we do anything, everything must go on charge. All the plugs in the walls, all the battery packs, the iPads, the headphones, the everything need to be on charge. And last time I almost set off to go on a flight, I couldn't find my passport. No joke, it was a panicky situation. So, secured the passport before we go. No panicking, no rushing, I've got it. Four day trip, five sets of boxes, five sets of socks. Not because um, I'm gonna like poop myself or anything like that. <laughs> but no matter where you're traveling, you should always take a spare, cause you never know. You may go on a, like a water ride or something like that and get soaked wet through and you need a fresh clean pair. So travel tip with Tom, always take an extra pair. Also with uh, with my traveling, um, I used to always take a, like, a hard small suitcase, but a duffel bag is just so much better. Now, I'm going to explain why. It's not the best, because I swear to God it throws off my balance and makes me walk weird. But when you've got to carry this bag around with you all the time, it's convenient yet annoying because I don't check bags. If you're only going for a trip for a week, you should not be checking a bag. I'm sorry, if two weeks, ten days, sure, maybe I'll, 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 let, I'll let you get away with it. But if you're not traveling for that amount of time... You do not need to ever check a bag, but a duffel bag is so good, if this even classes as a true duffel bag, but like, you've got both your hands. You don't have to trail around with something behind you. You can eat and drink, and you can be walking around, you can have your phone, you can have your passport, and your hands free. And you don't have to worry about constantly dragging a stupid bag behind you. So ever since I've switched to this backpack, well, not this backpack, this, this duffel bag, my traveling has been so much better. I've been able to do so much more, always have my hands free for vlogging or giving my boarding pass or something like that. And more importantly, if you're a sausage, you're not gonna leave it behind because it's strapped to your body. So yeah, there you go. Tra another travel little tip with Tom, the things I've learned after nine years of doing this sort of stuff. So yeah. All right, I've got a t-shirt or a long sleeve for every single day. I've got one shirt for going out in, Probably could do with more than that, but I've got some All Saints shirts packed in there as my nice going out sort of stuff. Uh, just drop this on the floor. My toiletries bag, nice and small. Put that in there, sweet as. Everything is already, you know, like the right size that you're supposed to have so I don't have to throw anything away. More importantly, look, I keep it already in a bag. So when I go through to it, all I have to do is whip that out and there you go. Don't have to mess around. And last but not least, you guys have been asking for it. And it's Syndicate Original, if I flip it around the right way. We have now got back in stock, which is probably, one sec, let me use a mirror, probably not the smartest time to promote a hoodie, but you guys have been asking for it, and we now have the Blueprint hoodies back in stock on the website. So if you want to pick yourself up one, if you didn't in the last drop, you can do. Link will be down in the description. Look at it, looking absolutely beautiful with all the customness. Look at this. Look at the little details. Life's too short. Make the most of it. And as always, if you're wearing a t-shirt like an All Saints top or something like that and you want to go out somewhere for like a nice dinner, taking a blazer or a jacket is always a good idea. And yes, I always wear this one. You guys say it in the comments, but it is what it is. But you know what you didn't know? I'm not wearing pants. Oh, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Life of Tom, keeping you on your toes. You, you, you had no idea. You didn't need to know either, but that's information that I've now shared. So if I've now got inside this bag, apart from all my electronics, I have squeezed into this a full uh, five-day trip with clothes enough for every single day, spares, supplies, everything that I need. Plus, I'll be wearing an outfit going out there, so that's an extra day taken care of. So, I think we have everything. Everything is charging, everything is good, everything is set. We're going to bed, we're waking up in, ooh, exactly six hours. I think that gives me enough time. Exactly six hours, because it'll be 7 a.m., 30 minutes to get ready, doesn't take me that long, but 30 minutes to get ready, order the Uber, picks me up, head to the airport. The flight's not at na not until 9.45, but it's a Monday and it's going to be rush hour traffic, so it's going to be pretty goddamn brutal. And I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thus, everything goes to the side, ready for me to get my clothes on and put it all in my pockets. Phone, wallet, passport, watch, everything else, we can get it on the way. We're on. See you guys in six hours. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just going to tuck you in. Good night. Mm.
Well, that was an absolute terrible night's sleep. Maybe about three hours, if that. But it's time to get up because we need to leave this building in 15 minutes. All right, the weather, not too good. Very, very cloudy towards, or foggy towards Manchester Airport, which is down there. So hopefully it causes no delays and everything. The uh, the stressful thing about my journey now is it's, mm, let me check, uh, quarter, it's quarter to eight, all right? I fly at quarter to 10. So I've got plenty of time right now, which is mint. But the thing is, I've just checked and I land in London at 10.45. My next flight then isn't till like half past three. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty brutal layover. And if I was to do it myself, I would not be uh, flying this early. I probably would have flown at like 12, got to London for like one and then be sorted. But I didn't arrange it, so it is what it is. But um, we're packed up, we're ready to rock and roll. I've made the bed, we're good to go. Let's get out of this house. Taxi is en route at exactly 7.45 a.m. I'm liking it, I'm loving it which means time for breakfast, the most important meal of the day. And this is the most superior breakfast of them all. Don't even at me. Oh, and this is not sponsored, but I saw someone promoting this show through a Amazon like advertisement. It was, it was Tucker Jericho. And I was like, oh, I don't know, probably gonna be rubbish. Saw a bit of the first episode he was watching, loved it. Started watching the first episode myself last night, loved it, but fell asleep. So I'm gonna try and download them all now with my First day of internet, because that's a episode, and I think they're an hour long each, so if they are, that's a full flight of entertainment sorted, so hopefully before my taxi gets here, uh, this this download bar moves just by like a, a little bit. Oh, there we go. 7.52. I have downloaded six episodes, and apparently the taxi's outside. Oh, yep, yep, there he is. He's just backing up onto my drive. Good morning, fella, or lady of the, the morning. That doesn't sound right. All right, so I think we've got everything. I'm ready to rock and roll. Whilst Lydia's on a trip up in Scotland, we're going to be heading to America for five days. So, this miserable weather, in the most politest way, can give f itself. Steve, I shall see you when I get back. My sister's looking after you, so if you die, it's hashtag blame Alice. I know that's never good, but uh, yeah, really awkward story about this one time. How she killed my last bearded dragon. She didn't actually. There was just a heat wave and uh, the bearded dragon um, didn't survive it. So, yeah, it's a tough subject to say before I leave out the door, but um, phone, wallet, passport, bag, iPad. We're good. Almost there. Almost there. Sweet. All right. Until next time, we shall be going. England, this weather is not my friend. I'm pretty sure. Oh, my gate works. It's oh, a shock. It usually doesn't. Alright. Hey, there, mate. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks for waiting for me. No, no, I'm fine. Alright, Manchester Airport, please. Manchester Airport, yeah. Uh, yes, please. Oh, yeah. Slow moving traffic the entire way. Gorgeous. Ooh, a lot later. Terminal 3. We meet again. Uh, my flight sets off in uh, an hour. So let's go see if they'll let me check in. I don't have a boarding pass. Ow. Oh, sweet. Nice one. Thank you very much. It's currently 8.41 and my flight boards at 9.05. All right. 8.50. Absolutely through through there. Gate 143. Shout out to the member of staff who I met here last time because someone recognised me and the girl was like, who are you? What do you do? And I explained to her. And as I was just stood in the queue then being like, I'm going to risk this flight now. Bumped in behind me and she was like, I got you, come on. I was like, yes. So I managed to get through really quick. And by really quick, I just got through security in nine minutes. And you saw how busy, what did you? It was really busy basically, so great success. Well, London is boarding down there. No rush, we're chilled. And so the journey begins. Oh my god, look. 
are. That's crazy. Look, you can see the London Eye, you can see Big Ben. Absolutely incredible view. If you ever fly from Manchester to London, always sit on the right side of the plane near a window and you can get this view. And there you have the Tower Bridge and then that HMS something, the Tower of London. Mate, it's like going on a little private tour when you're flying up here, it's mint. Concord. Pretty rare plane to spot. Absolutely beautiful day in London. Uh, I'd love to say I can spend it outside, but I've now got like four hours to wait inside a terminal. It's 10, oh my God, I've got to wait even longer. It's 10.45 right now, and my flight's at 3.45. I have to wait five hours. <sighs> Los Angeles, Terminal 3. It used to be Terminal 5, but no more. I am going this way. I think I'm about to have a bit of a headache. Now, I've just landed from Manchester to London, but my two flights were not on the same, like, you know, itinerary. So because they're separate, even though it's a connecting flight because I'm going to Los Angeles, it's not on the same sort of deal. Therefore, it's not a connected flight, it's a separate flight. I might have to leave through security, recheck back in, and then be able to do it. I'm gonna try and see if I can get around it and just go straight through to the terminal, but I'm guaranteeing they make me go back through security, so. Here we go. Thank God I've got five hours spare. She was like, usually you need your boarding pass, but show me your uh, itinerary. So I just showed that lady there and she went, your flight's not today, it's on the 23rd. I was like, it is today, because I've just got on the flight to Manchester, so don't go plucking my dramatic heartstrings. I think I just have to go this way, pick up my ticket, and then fingers crossed I don't have to re go through security. Which I probably still will have to. Well, I'm supposed to be getting a bus, and I'm pretty sure. Oh, yep. <laughs> I've missed it. Packed in like sardines. Mm, comfy. Yep. Back through security. Great. Okay. So now I'm through security. And I have to find the Virgin Atlantic check-in desk. Ah, here you go. I can finally get my ticket to get on the plane. I've got all this way through security and everything without it. So hopefully these will give me my ticket. And also, for some reason, I keep beeping going through security and I've got no metal on me. So I'm trying to work out why. I don't quite understand. Okie dokie. Got my boarding pass. She said go left, left and then take a right. I've done a left, I've done a left, and I've done a right. And I'm looking for lounge H. Now, I can actually go and check into the airport lounge uh, if I can find it, which right now, not gonna lie, don't have a goddamn clue where it is. But there's a yo sushi there. So I may go and have sushi for lunch. Whee! Katsu chicken is what I call a perfect dinner. Well, I've eaten. And I've still got three hours and 45 minutes to go. Let's have some fun. I'll tell you what, I've not actually checked out the Virgin Lounge here. So, I'm going to try and find a way to Lounge H and see what's occurring. Actually, you know what? I take this back. I think I have actually been to this one. Lounge H. Yeah, this... Yeah, the clubhouse. I do think I've been here before. Ooh. It's got a fancy chandelier, I love it. Ooh, welcome to the Virgin Atlantic First Class Lounge. Very nice, mmm, lovely. Oh my gosh, I found meat heaven. Look at this, oh, why did I, why did I just have yo sushi when I could have had all this for free? Oh, mackerel, lovely. Let's right, see what else they've got. Okay, I think this is a restaurant little high tops you can sit on sit down formal restaurant and have a meal i like it look at the size of that but is that supposed to be a boat I'm not too sure if it is but it kind of looks like a boat even though i'm definitely getting on a plane well isn't that lovely a digital fireplace mm. and that's pretty cool i'm liking the swinging hanging chair over there look at that i totally want to go get in it but i see a bag next to it and i don't want to i don't want to steal someone's chair because it looks like it's freshly moving Wicked. 
that is a massive TV, bloody hell. Kids playing area, power lounge for you to be able to plug all your stuff in and charge and work from. Also with another bar on deck, noise. This is definitely one way to do it. I approve. Now, what is up here? I don't even know if I'm allowed up here, but I'm going. I'm investigating. <gasps> no way. Oh. Oh, hello. Wait, there's a garden? No, don't tell me there's a rooftop. Do not tell me there's a rooftop. Wait, I swear I can hear outside. There's no way. Oh, no way. No way. No way. <laughs> oh my God, I've always wanted this at an airport. Are you kidding me? Dude, I love exploring. This trip's already been worth it. Are you... Me! <laughs> I've always said this at airports. Why do they not have like a rooftop terrace where you can just chill out and relax in the oh in the sun? Wow, that's nice. Me, the fact that I've I've got three hours and fifteen minutes to go now. Oh, that's made me happy. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm going downstairs. I'm getting a beer. And I'm getting in one of those one of those chairs. Oh, mega, absolutely mega. Look at that, just watching all the planes take off. This is, this is the most per, literally the most perfect thing I could ask for right now. Oh my God, ah, I just got stung by something. Ah, evil plant. Oh, mate, I'm so happy right now, seriously. I am so damn ha I've never I've been in this lounge once before but I think I only had like 10 minutes in here or something I never looked upstairs and never knew there was a pool table probably need someone else to play that with anyway but then they, they did not advertise there was a garden up here at all like at all oh I actually thought it might be a smoking area but the sign says no smoking on the wall so that's a win even though there's definitely cigarette buds in there now I wonder if there's a bell I can ring to get a drink. I'm happy to go and get it, but that would, that would be some first class service, Jesus. Paradise has been ruined. Oh, I feel like I've dodged a bullet there. I went to, I was just about to vlog a clip saying, I think I can risk leaving my bag here because there's a camera up there. Like, I know you're not supposed to leave your baggage unattended, but I am in an airport lounge. So I think, like, I don't see any signs or anything like that. So I think I'd be up, wait, what does that say? Wait a minute. Does that say, oh no, it said ch children should not, <laughs> should not be left unattended. But as I went to film the clip, no joke, I thought someone was walking up with a dog. So I heard, <laughs> and I was like, bloody hell, who's got a dog up here? Like, what the heck? Seriously, is it, are they bringing a dog up here to poop or something? And then uh, two kids came running up screaming. They tried to pull the tennis rackets off the wall and all that. And I was like, ah! kind of uh, ruined my little paradise for a second, but they disappeared. They may be coming back with some chicken tenders, I heard. So um, enjoy it whilst I can. Peace at an airport. <laughs> Drink secured. I said to that guy, I was like, I'm just gonna quickly pop, pop down and get a beer. The one thing you never do at airports is be like, can you ask someone to look after my bag? Sometimes people are okay with it, you know, but most of the time it's like, I'm not having that responsibility, no way, because you're not supposed to. But in an airport lounge, it's like, are you supposed to carry your bag with you at all times? Like, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with me carrying it. It's so easy and the whole party would be like, free hands. But I was just like, eh, it seems fine. I was like, can you look after that? He was like, no way. I was like, all right, then. let's leave it there. There's a camera there, so no one's gonna nick it, so. As long as I'm aware, everything's still in it. I just got word that Benny Central's here and I just said, um, come up to the garden. And he was like, wait, what, garden? I said, I said, yeah, grab a beer, come and get in the sun and join me in the garden. He was like, what? So hopefully any minute, Benny and the boys are gonna roll up here with a brewski in hand. Oh, well, don't get me wrong, it is like, hang on a minute. It's quarter past one. It's okay to have a beer. Or three. Because I'm not joking. I've still got two more hours to wait. I'm not complaining. I'm definitely not complaining, but oof, in two hours, in this sun, a lot of drinking can be done. 
Moments later, he arrived. How are you? Right? Yeah, Dude, get that hoodie off and get chilling. How nice is this? This is lovely. It I didn't know it was here. In the morning, it was <laughs> not not as nice. But this, Dude. I've never been up here. Bro, I've got I got my, my shorts on, t-shirts, nice sunglasses. Nice Yeezys. Well, yeah, you know the flex. Uh, okay, plot twist: paradise has been ruined. Apparently, you're not allowed to. Yeah, apparently you're not allowed to have drinks up it, but it says it's sponsored by Stella Artois. The person said no drink or food up here. What? I try to come up with food and drink and they're like, no, no. This, there's no way that can be possible. I just I just asked for a beer and then walked straight up here and no one said anything. Ninja. I just know how to do it. <laughs> Mate, what am I playing at? I settled for uh, Yo Sushi. <laughs> God damn, we've got, we've got burgers and grilled salmon. Wait, have we all got a drink now? Yeah. Yes. Cheers to a exciting secret adventure. Nice one, even though half the people know. Wait. <laughs> My heart just absolutely dropped. I went up to go to the toilet and there's like, Thomas Cassell, can you come to the desk? I thought like something was wrong. They just wanted me to change seats on the plane. Okay, so I had a mini heart attack then. I'm sat down having a drink and food with everyone like that. And all of a sudden, as I get up to go to the toilet, I hear on the tannoy, Thomas Cassell, Thomas Cassell, Thomas Cassell. But they actually said, Thomas Castle, Thomas Castle, Thomas Castle. I was like, So I went over to the front and I was like, is it because I was having a drink up top and I wasn't supposed to do? Turns out, no. Turns out, you know, like when I sit, right, you know, when I sit on the plane, right? You've got seat one, seat two, seat three, like that. Boom. Well, apparently, there's a family all here who want to sit together, and I'm sat like there. And they said, can I switch from this one to the very back one? Which, if you know from a previous vlog when I'm flying on a plane, I prefer to be there because in that way, when I'm vlogging, there's not someone just sat behind, you know, like, say if I'm vlogging there, like, meh, meh, meh. there's not someone there looking at me, there's not someone there, like, looking over like there was the last time I was flying. So try not to disturb people when I'm on a flight because, you know, people want to sleep, people just want to relax, and I don't want to be that, uh, okay, I've just ruined these towels. I don't want to be that annoying guy, but they said, do you mind switching my real estate for the inconvenience? I was like, I don't. Please make it happen. And they just switched me to the back, so lo and behold, we've got a back seat, which would be cool to vlog on the plane, of which I'm probably gonna fall asleep on, so. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, this is, this, this, oh yeah, this is it. It, it, it just detected a face on your ass. <laughs> it came up with a little square. Wait, what was that, why? But look at that, this, how good is this lounge? It's absolutely, all right, here we go. Let's see, let's see if he's still got it. Can he do it? Oh. The choke. <laughs> Are you sure you want this guy as your teammate? Just for a he's wearing a white shirt. <laughs> and he's got the pool cue. <laughs> 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 Wait, one more high five for the victory. We just had a mini Smash tournament. It. As per usual, Benny fucked up. <laughs> and guess what? We won. <laughs> hey, let's, um, good game. Good game. That was a thumb handshake. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? You lost fair and square. So great nice. game. Yeah, no, great game. <laughs> so uh, why didn't you win the uh, three million, Benny? Why didn't you win three million at 16 years old? Hmm. Hmm. I have no Dude, shout out, shout out to him though. 16 year old American wins three million as a Fortnite world champion. Absolutely incredible. Wait, 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 wait. Just for record, we just high five because he potted a black. I don't even know what's going on, bro. Are you, are you, are you We're sports. <laughs> oh, okay, well. He just pulled off the best shot ever of the black, and I high fived him for it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I say successful uh, pool. Very session. successful. We did lose. Smash we it. did win the tournament, but we lost them. We played Southern Rules. Yeah. We pl look at him. Look at him. He's so proud of his Southern Rules. <laughs> He switched the balls around at the end. Northern rules are so much better. So much better. So much better. But we've been uh, called to the gate now, so we're heading over. Uh, we now have a whopping 11 hour, 11 and a half hour flight ahead of us. Thanks for that, by the way. Appreciate it. I left my wallet upstairs because I put my wallet on the table to balance my phone out like this. Oh, one second, I need to get my boarding pass, sorry. Thank you so much, look at that. The service, incredible, thank you. There's my new boarding pass. I switched with someone else, but yeah, so I left my wallet upstairs and the, thank you so much. And the guy came down from upstairs and was like, Mr. Cassell, and he was like, looking at my credit card. I was like, that's my wallet, what are you doing in it? And he was like, you left it upstairs, so. Well, that would have been a trip room to America, straight away. Oh, this is gonna be all the boys then, isn't it? Zzzz. Hello there, my friend. Hello, governor. Oh, oh, you're right there. What's going on? Oh, what's a kidding? What's a kidding? Always nice to be reunited with this guy. <laughs> and this and this guy is just chilling. 
by himself. <laughs> Godspeed, good luck, my friend. <laughs> uh, you are right, though. You are 100%. There's no point standing up in the slightest. You might as well sit down to the last wing, but I'm just being social and talking. <laughs> All right. And thus, oh, you know when you get on a plane and it's a win. Come on. Built-in Wi-Fi. That's what we want. Hello. Can you two just leave the staff alone for once? We've only just got on the plane. I know, I know. Oh, sorry. With his one ear pod in again. All right, then. All right, so let's try and find my seat. I'm looking for 9A. Oh, that's me. Yeah. Me. My eyesight in this big... You know when it's like low dim neon colour lighting? I can't see anything. I'm basically blind. But welcome to my home for the next, no joke, 11 hours. I think this is a... Ooh. Pop out screen. Urgh, urgh, there you go. 11 hours on this plane. I will say... You guys last saw my video of me flying out to Las Vegas because I went um, Manchester to Las Vegas, Las Vegas to LA. That was the last flight I did. Now, I thought I might be at the back of the plane lineup, but I'm not, so it's kind of a good thing though because there's a, there's a bar over there. Like, legitimately, that's a full-blown bar, so rather than hearing all the drunks over there, I can chill here and I'm kind of in the sweet spot of seeing the entire cabin. Four. I'm gonna go off the plane being a bit of an older plane because the other one, do you remember it had a fixed screen and the screen was like maybe 20, 26 inches or something? Whereas this is like, I don't know, maybe maybe 18 or something. Oh, can we hear him now? Kids with their AirPods. So yeah, we got a bit of an old school screen, but this time we did actually, in fact, we got the uh, little toiletries bag which I think is bigger than the one I've got, so I might take it. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Lovely. We're on one of them planes where they have fake blinds. And if you don't know what fake blinds are, it means there's no blinds. But instead, there's a button here to make it darker. Like, see, make it darker. It's like the, it's like the switch glass at the front of the house, look. See, it slowly, slowly, slowly goes darker. Or it slowly, slowly, slowly goes lighter which it is actually doing very slowly but i don't think you can quite make it totally black out which is kind of a shame at the same time i do not intend on sleeping this flight i just hope that the camera quality is good because i think this, I think this is a flight is that better? 256 customers. Whoa. Take it back. It's pitch black. Whoa. I probably was asleep last time it was ever that dark, but look at it. That compared to that, compared to that, compared to that. I'm pretty sure that's a max darkness. Whoa. That looks mental. All right, watch this. This is like the in-flight entertainment, right? So each plane tries to do it different and make it fun and interesting so you pay attention to it, which you always should, and I always do, even though I'm filming. But look, he falls asleep whilst trying to, like, operate his TV, and then he falls into, like, a dream world, which is, like, amazing. Look, it goes all, like, movie cartoon. How sick is that? Watch, it talks about, like, fastening seatbelts or something. <laughs> See? Kind of a bit sexual, but yeah, okay, you get the safety environment of it. Whoa, this cabin just got so much lighter. I didn't even flick a switch, I think they did it. And we have pulled away from the takeoff landing spaceship thing. And I think I found the menu. Hello, you. What does this say? Let's eat prawns or warm bread, smoked duck, honey roast chicken, tomatoes or salmon, and for pudding, passion fruit and white moose raspberry. And at the bar, pot pie for crisp savouries and nibbles. Lovely jubbly. I always like this part. Extra bites, still feeling peckish. Feel free to order one of these. A gourmet burger, Vietnamese prawn salad, or Thai sweet potato stew. Kind of brutal, but... 
Okay. And look at that for a selection of wines. Bloody hell. That's, that's Virgin on taking over the Bible. What? I had no idea they did cocktail. Well, there's a, a fully fledged bar over there, but I never did the actual. Did, knew they did cocktails. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Tropical mimosa. I know we're delayed a little bit, but I love how we're sat in our chairs with our seatbelts on. With like airbags on. And you look around the room, and this woman is sat there on just a stool. We could set off a day day pass. Quick, get the safety. Well, that's a little bit intense, but okay, touch me. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right, uh, skip video. Are there any films on this plane I've not seen? Movies. Recently added. Okay, okay, yes, not seen it. Are we moving? No. Okay, not seen that one. Seen it, seen it, seen it. Mm. Uh, not seen it, maybe. Seen it, seen it, seen it. Don't care. Nah. Nah. Uh, seen it. Mm, may maybe. Actually, maybe. Seen it really good. Lava. Oh, I've seen that and it's absolutely amazing. Seen it. The Lost Boys. No idea. Wait. Nancy Drew. Um. <laughs> Recently added. 1982 Poltergeist. Yeah, okay. Biggest letdown film I ever missed seeing in cinemas. Totally not worth a watch. Say what you want. It's just... Like... Get Out was such an amazing film, but that was such a disappointment. Disappointed. And thus, when the in-flight entertainment lets you down, bring your own. No way. Yes way. We're finally leaving. Goodbye, HSBC Bank. He's going sideways. Go on, lid. Gone. Amazing. Oh my god. Look at the traffic jam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven planes in a row. Jesus. This is a big traffic jam. Alright, here we go. Goodbye, Air New Zealand. Goodbye, British Airways. Goodbye, little plane. Goodbye, other Lufthansa little plane. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, an entire, like, seven hours since I've been awake starting this journey, we are taking off to, um, um, <laughs> um, um, uh, wait for it, wait for it. Big Emirates plane. Ooh. Ready? Oh, there it is. You ready for it? Three, two, one. Squish. And away we go. Oh, look at the size of that boy. Down. Away we go. Next up, Los Angeles. All right, after a mini panic attack of me losing my phone, it actually fell down the side of the chair. I thought I left it in the bathroom. We're all flying high and loving life. All is good in the hood. <laughs> and all the lads on the plane, we've set a date. A date? We've got 9 hours and 55 minutes after the plane, and at half past five, we're all going to meet at the bar for a drink. How amazing is that? Like, I usually fly alone, let alone with like a group of lads that I love, so... Yeah, good vibes. You may be wondering, where's the table? Well, you press this button here. Are you ready? Badam! <laughs> then you push it down. Look at that. Le Ow. <laughs> like magic. Ta -da! So not only do you have like a entire bar here on a plane, 
you have the bar, you've got Dalek JD down here just enjoying his munch, but then look at this! Oh my, wait! <gasps> Frazzles and chipsticks! Okay, they've not even started serving, well, they've started serving dinner, but I haven't got mine just yet, it's on the way. But look at this! Little snap, look how good the snap bar looks! You're damn right I'm stealing these before anyone else takes them. That's a win! Enjoying the show, and we got ourselves some prawns and some bread. It was okay, but uh, prawns and random vegetables. Not too sure about that. Wow. Yeah, I fell asleep for five hours. <laughs> I missed every drink to the boys on the plane. I only just had some of my dinner, otherwise, I would have missed it. I've been uh, basically bullied down here by myself because the trolleys are coming down and uh, I can't stand there keep talking to them so I have to wait here for the trolleys to return. And whereabouts are we? I'm going to assume we're flying over... You know I'm going to assume we're flying over Canada. Can we even see anything? Um, not really. Now usually on a plane when you walk straight out here in the like in between of the aisles there's a snack box area so I'm going to see there is one, and if there is, I'm gonna smuggle as much chocolate back to Jay as I can. This is Operation Smuggle Jay Chocolate. And if there isn't one, the mission's failed, so sorry. Because I think it's only fair he brought me ice cream, I bring him chocolate. My mission to raid it has been duped. It's all been eaten already. Is it actually all gone? Everything. That's all we've got left. This is up class as well. Oh, this no way. Everything's gone. So if you like dark chocolate, I'll give you the Oh, okay, that'll do. That's the last thing we've got yeah. left. What was in the box? What did I miss out on? You missed out. Oh, should I even tell you? Yeah. What would you like to say about? Whispers timeout. Club bars. Yeah. And it's all been savaged. My job to savage it, damn yeah. it! Gutted. It was a massive selection of chocolate here, and everyone else has had it. The only thing I can take back to the boys back there is one tiny chocolate pe pebble. She's gone looking for more chocolate for me, so fingers crossed I can find something and smuggle it back to them. I guess I can smuggle them an apple. That's about it. I put on my blueprint hoodie to smuggle the apple. Chocolate pebble back to the boys. And the pretzels. And a half eaten orange. <laughs> yeah, you're a star. Yes, this is exactly what I need. Okay, my picnic for Jay goes like this chocolate pot, timeout bar, digestives, pretzels, apple, <laughs> chocolate slab. I'm gonna steal Ooh. some street food and some olives and some bitong. Okay, the little picnic for Jay is looking pretty damn good. I feel like I'm like smuggling it to him like Peter Rabbit. Look at this. I'm like folding all the corners in like a little uh, like a little makeshift makeshift package. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. I 
hope I don't get caught doing this, but I'm sending the smuggle back. <laughs> what is this? All right, all right. I brought all right. you the snuggle. <gasps> I took one of everything. <laughs> everything. Look, look, digestives. Bro, Time out bar. Even my girlfriend wouldn't do this for me. Boom. You've got to share it. This is everything I could get. You're a real one, bro. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm sorry I only brought one apple, but I'm in car, I'm in car. Yo, yo, yo. I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> 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 you tell me that's not 10 out of 10 delivery service. Yo, that yeah, is, bro. Yeah. 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 It's got nothing on it. You put Tom on the plane. I'm going to go because I'm going to get kicked out. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. if I get anything else, I'll bring you back. Yeah. 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 I've got to go. I said I think we're going over Canada, but I'm probably going to be seriously wrong. Uh, monitor. Take me away. Show me where we are. Okay, it's going to take a while. Oh, I was right. Okay, so we're just over halfway, and we are almost out of Canada and into the United States of America. Hey, I know we've just cheers, I'm sorry about that, but hey, finally, I'm not I'm not asleep whilst we're at the bar, chin chin, to a successful journey. Thank you, good sir, appreciate it. Cup of tea and a scone with some lovely strawberry jam. Nice. Alrighty, we're coming down to land. We're about to approach Los Angeles. I think I can, oh yeah, I can zoom in nice. Where are we? Zoom, zoom, zoom. We are currently over, whoa, we're over Las Vegas. And uh, they just brought me some sweets. Lovely. Here we go. Los Angeles inbound. It seems like a very misty day in Los Angeles, but in five, four, three, two, one, touchdown. Oh, I nailed it. I absolutely nailed it. Woo. Great success. Okay, fingers crossed, this guy's staring at me. Fingers crossed, I haven't forgot anything. Got my bag. Phone, wallet, passport, headphones, watch. Everything else, we can get on the way. And look at this, mental. I'm a third person off the plane. Mint. Fingers crossed now, I can just fly through security. So I hope. Have you, have you done like the LA security before? Oh, like, yeah, that's like mate, mad. Seriously, we, that's... We got off the I was the third person off the plane and I did not expect that. It was just I mean, it's still empty. Like it's just literally yeah, you, you, you used to have to back in the day fill in like a paper form uh, to get through security. We but now you just do it digital. Wow, that was fast. Security dude just said to me, he was like, you've got no luggage, where's your luggage? Like, how do you expect to stay here? I was like, he was like, is that it? I was like, official travel. Now, out of the mass crew of people we're with, I am the first person off. Hang on a minute, I thought I've had a little minute panic attack. I thought I got something. No, yes, I got my sunglasses. Um, I'm the first person out of our crew off the plane. I think I might be the only person who didn't check a bag. That's what I mean. Look how much we're fit. Them guys are gonna be stuck waiting in security. Um, which is now like piled up, so they're stuck in security, and they have to wait to get the bags. Meanwhile, I'm getting a coffee. Sweet. I'm gonna get back out to have a vanilla cappuccino chocolate latte. Literally, OMG, Becky. 
fun fact, it actually just took me longer to wait in that small line and get a coffee than it did to get off the plane through security, out the second step of security, and then to the Starbucks. <laughs> All right, I don't, I don't even know if anyone else is out. Like, I don't know if they've got in a taxi or they're heading off or what. I have no idea where anyone is. I've texted them. So I can only assume they're still stuck in security. I just, I can't even believe that coffee took so long to get, Jesus. Mate, I even beat the staff off the plane and through security. That, that's just unheard. Where is it? Over there. Wow, maybe like 25 minutes later, they've only just got their bags off the carousel. Meanwhile, I've just been people watching. LAX is just mental. It's just so many people coming and going, like people who sound like they're American or from a different place or anything. It's just, it's such a hustle and bustle place to visit. Like, this is crazy. No, so look who I ended up bumping into. I'm about to cry. What? Just don't show the back, because that's where the car is. Oh my God, it's actually... A KFC black card, free metal. chicken for life. That is metal. I mean, you want and it's coffee. metal. Yeah, but you deserve it. Damn it! it. it. To get the much better blackout player by far. No way, mate. How you got let through security? I don't have a clue. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Suck and roll. How did you like your little picnic? Did you not uh, see bro? Is it good? Yeah, you did. <laughs> you changed my life. Bro, I was, I was upset because at the start of the flight, when I got on, there was frazzles, you know, like the bacon strip. Oh my God, they're so good. I had some of them, I picked them up and put them behind my seat. So when we were just landing, then I was like, oh, bacon frazzles. So I was like, no, no, that's how it results. Yeah, when everyone's like, do you want to go out for food? Now I'm like, nah, mate, I snacked the entire <laughs> plate. I'm like, a bit of an L, you know, bro. I got like a scone with the jam and cream, bro. And I tried to cut the scone in half to put the jam and cream on the garage. It ended up looking like a Brussels spread. Like it demolished him. Wait, I've got a question for you now. It's important. Tell me about okay. Do you put the cream on first, or the, the jam? Cut it in half. Yeah. Put the jam yeah, on one side. Yeah. Jam on one side. And then oh, do you? Yeah, that's all you yeah. have. Oh, you're psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's not bad. What do you do, Benny? It's cream first. Then yes. All right. Okay. Yo, you I can meet you in the middle. You know. All right. We're turning up. This is uh, this is our hotel. Let's get on in and check in. The boys are rolling deep skis. It cost, literally, we could have walked here. We could have walked here quicker. And it cost us $20 to walk five feet, but hey, this is life. Welcome to the Mariotta. I've never been here. He is, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn right he is. Mate, there's a Starbucks in it, check in, nice. Whoa, that is a happy, that's a nice looking bar. Mate, this elevator makes, wait, first floor. Is this, I found it. I'm not joking, I managed to just lose those guys in the elevator, but now I can't find my hotel room. Like, I'm not even joking. Where on earth am I going? One more five. Spooky. I'm not even sure I'm on the right floor right now. This is ridiculous. All right, I actually found it. Okay, this is this is home base. No, no crazy hotel with a view this time round because we're not too far from where the event's gonna be, but uh, if anyone wants to set the car alarm off in the morning, I'm definitely going to hear it because that is a that is a room, <laughs> a room with no view. But welcome! Oh god, got Netflix built into your TV. That's pretty cool. All right, so this is the bed. We're staying in a Marriott. Oh, that is actually really nice, like memory foam bed. I, I kind of like it. But God, talk about being like far away from everything. I had to, like I filmed it back on the way. I walked through like like families having parties in like hotel rooms and stuff like that, and like content cons uh, conf conference rooms. And like, mate, this, this hotel room to get to was a mooch. Like, I, I think I'm, if I have to, I have to physically think about it, I'm the furthest point from the entrance on the back end of the hotel. So when I'm really late in the morning, like, Tom, hurry up, you know, you've got to get on the shuttle. Uh, I, I'm probably going to miss it, so sorry. Mm -hmm. Freshly shaved, hence the million spots on the neck. Going to have um, a, a, a body shower, you th one of those things where you're supposed to put, I don't think they actually have any, um, you know, like, I was going to say hair net, but, you know, you just put your head in like one of them shower caps, I was going to do that, and then just jump in the shower, but I think we're going to have a body shower, because I'm wearing no pants right now, but we're going to have a, a five pound for some life water, bloody hell, alright, what is that, 
coffee maker instructions. Oh, okay. Um, we're going to have a shower, then we're going to go to the bar. You can see I'm getting really tired right now, and it's, uh, it's half past eight. So even if I went to bed right now, that wouldn't be too bad. I kind of, no joke, I'm t I've texted Luke and told him I'm here, and I kind of want to go out because I believe the film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, um, Quentin Tarantino's new film, is out in America. I don't know if it's out in England. But I really want to go and see it, like really want to go and see it. I heard it's in incredible, uh, but it's a long movie and I'm pretty tired. So I don't know whether to save it to Wednesday because I've got absolutely nothing on on Wednesday or uh, I go tonight and just force myself awake, which is probably a bad idea. But we'll, we'll, we'll just see. But let's shower change and then let's get down to the bar and have a brewski with the boys. All right, ready to rock and roll. Let's go get ourselves a drink and see the boys. Okay, so I found the pool and it seems like people are still in it, which is an absolute win. I kind of wish I had a view, like, looking from down here into the pool. I think that'd be a bit more fun than a car park. But, hey, listen, I'll take what I can get. I'm pretty stoked to be out here in general, to be honest. There's, like, a family room in there. Not too sure what that's about. It says... Exclusively for Spirit of Los Angeles. This hotel's got everything. It's Starbucks, one restaurant and bar over here. It's got a steakhouse over here. You've got a bar over here. Mate, anima I don't even know what that is. Maybe another restaurant or something like that. This place is booming. I actually didn't know he was going to be taller then. Wait, stand, stand up together. Stand up. Wait, take take the hat off. Take the hat off. Wait, wait, you don't want to see Wait. Oh, yeah, he's got you. He's got you easy. I'm absolutely loving that. Tev has never been to the US before, and on his first trip here, he's gone to a 7-Eleven, and he bumped into... Oh, my God. Wait, you saw that? Where was it? <laughs> oh my god, this your first day in the US and you've seen a raccoon. That's sick. Mate, this night has been booming. Everyone's still at the bar getting drinks. There's a fireplace booming over here. Wait, is is that someone? Oh my god, oh my god it is. I'm not joking. I, my eyesight's so bad. I didn't know whether that was someone uh, who'd left the stuff there. And I thought I was just zooming into like a, 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 a leopard print thing. But there's someone sleeping on the sofa. Well, but I, I, you can expect that because we're near the airport, so if people don't want to pay for a hotel room, I'm sure they could just come here because there's like Starbucks restaurants. Just sit on that couch, it's like a super smart way of not being stuck in the airport, like waiting for the next flight. They can just come here where it's peaceful and they've got like shops, bathrooms, all that sort of stuff, showers, gym, and just enjoy themselves. But I can confirm it's been an absolutely amazing trip so far. Such good people and such good vibes. Can't wait for tomorrow because I can say tomorrow we will be playing Call of Duty all day from four, well, all day from four to like eight, so like four hours of pure Call of Duty, and we're gonna play it, record it, not stream it, uh, because then on the first the embargo goes up and we can release it on our YouTube channel. So stay tuned, gameplay coming soon. Good night, dude. Look after yourself. <laughs> Well, what an amazing uh, night tonight's been. I am absolutely exhausted. I'm going to bed with a bit of a smile though because I've been told that the internet in this hotel, even though I've not, I've been connected but I've not checked it, apparently is 100 up, 100 down. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna get that all the way in the furthest corner of the hotel. So we're gonna wait and see, but amazing travel trip. This vlog I think is gonna be really long. I've just sent the clips to my editor, Orion, and there's been from the count I could see. Look at that, 20, 24 hour gym. That's pretty good. Uh, what? Washers and dryers with the stuff you need in there. Microwave. Oh, loving life. Little uh, drinks and ice machine over there. Nice. But uh, yeah, apparently, so on average, I usually send Ryan like 60 to 90 clips on a day. And today I'm sending them like 210. So hopefully the internet works in my room where I'm at and it's fast, that way he gets all the clips. So if this footage never makes its way to the internet, you know why. And again, I'm sorry for no vlog yesterday, but I just knew that it was not worth posting. It's just a, a vlog. Cause I know I, I do daily cause it gives me like a routine and structure and I love it. But then sometimes it's just not worth it because if the vlog's rubbish, what's the point in putting out content you guys are not gonna enjoy? So I'm, I'm hoping not to have that happen again, but if it does end up happening again, I appreciate being as cool as you were today. I actually thought I was gonna see Milo again there, but I didn't, so guys, I'm gonna to go to bed now. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, right? Subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. for the next day of vlog. So until then, much love.